40 Special Olympics athletes joined law enforcement from all different agencies for the 2019 Law Enforcement Torch Run through downtown Jacksonville. That's right. Action News Jack's Alicia Terracon spoke with some runners and tells us how the event helped raise money for Special Olympic athletes. A group of 300 made up of law enforcement and athletes took off running down East Bay Street, including Sheriff Mike Williams, who carried the torch. We have a, a Nike app on our phone, which we downloaded, and we clock ourselves to see how fast we can run. You know, so it prepares us. This is Jimmy Fricky. It's his first year running in the law enforcement torch run. He says he's been a part of the Special Olympics for 15 years. You know, we do a lot of sports. I do soccer. Flag football, and I'm a coach too. The 2019 law enforcement torch run started on East Bay Street and ended here at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds, where dozens of athletes crossed this finish line, coming out a winner. I'm a fast runner. I'm the fastest runner in here. Lakeisha Burton is with JSO. She works with special needs children, and she says for her, this run is personal. I have a twin sister that passed away a year ago. She was special needs as well. So today I see, just see it an opportunity to celebrate her and celebrate our youth and really encourage them to fulfill their dreams. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office started fundraising in February, selling merchandise for the Special Olympics to help fund their travel expenses, uniforms, equipment, and more. This year, they've been able to raise just over $7,000. Jimmy tells us he couldn't be more grateful for their help. Our police officers are a big to our community, and we, we can't thank them enough, you know, for what they've done. Reporting in downtown, Alicia Tarancon, CBS 47, Action News, Jax. And the torch will be passed on to law enforcement in Liberty and Hamilton County who will run their own torch runs on Monday.